everyone, it's time for us to go and show you exactly how to go ahead and use your Samsung Galaxy Watch 8. Now, the thing I will definitely tell you is that the Galaxy Watch 8 is a beautiful watch. It is so nice looking and it is the latest and greatest from Samsung. So you're going to have a long time of basically just amazing use from this particular watch. Now, the first thing I'd usually say is to put a case and screen protector on your watch. You don't really need a case on these things. They're built very well. But if you do want to go ahead and find like a circular screen protector online, it might be good. That way you can avoid scratches. I have had a lot of watches and I haven't really had too many scratches. In fact, the watch I currently have is my Apple Watch Series 4. It's still functioning. Lots of scuffs and scratches, but I never plan on reselling it. But if you plan on reselling it, I would recommend putting a case or at least a screen protector on your particular watch. Now, keep in mind also, Galaxy watches are only supported on Android phones. You cannot use them on iPhones. So usually for the standard setup process, you will have to bring your you know, Samsung, Android phone, or whatever you have, close to your particular Galaxy watch, and you're going to have to download the Samsung wearable application. So the Samsung wearable application you can find inside of your App Store, your Play Store, and all you're going to have to do is just type in wear, or you can even type in wearable and it's probably going to find it. And this is what it looks like, the Galaxy wearable application. I have a video on how to already set it up, so I'll leave that link down in the description. The first link will take you to a video on how to go through the setup process of your you know, Watch 8. But you can see right here, this is what you download. You open up the particular application, and it will allow you to go ahead and basically set up your watch that way. I've already set it up. I've already gone through that process. But if you're curious, you can click that first link down there. And you know, keep that app handy, because we're going to jump back to that app in a little bit. Now, going back to the watch, when you take a look around the watch, you don't really get anything on the left side, depending on how you orient it. On the other side, you will get these two buttons. One acts as almost like a sleep wake button. The other one acts as like a back button. And you can use both in tandem for some other things, and I'll show you those in a second. The back side is where you have your little wireless charging pad area. So you have a couple of ways to charge up your Galaxy Watch 8. You can use the built-in watch charger that you have in the box. And you can just go ahead and plug this thing right in the back, plug the other side into some charging port, and go ahead and charge up this bad boy. So you can go ahead and do it that way. Or what you can also do is if you have a phone that supports wireless power share, you can, like a Samsung phone, I think it's only Samsung phones that support it, you can go ahead and somehow like shimmy this thing onto the back and charge up your Galaxy Watch 8 from the back of your Samsung phone. So I wouldn't really recommend that. It is really nice to have that feature but I think you might have to remove the bands, at least for this band, in order to actually utilize it. Speaking about removing the bands, sometimes you might want to remove these bands and orient them in a different way. If you want to do that, it's a very basic process. All you have to do is find these little buttons on the back side of your Galaxy Watch 8, and all you're going to have to do is basically kind of pinch this button down and pry out these little bands. Now it's really cool because they've actually changed these bands quite a bit, and from this previous watch to this one, they've actually changed it out. I'm much happier with the way they've approached this band. So now you have the watch like this. And if you want to bring in your bands, all you're going to have to do, because these things are magnetic now, you can just kind of like slice them in like this, like put them in from the bottom first, and then kind of click it into place. And that is one thing you can kind of do now. Sometimes it's still a little finicky, as you can see. But you can kind of just like click it into place like that. And it is actually a nice thing. I'm probably making it look hard, way harder than it is but you could just kind of click it into place like so, and then it'll go ahead and just click in, and that's all you're really gonna have to do. So again, I don't know why it's so hard for me sometimes to do this. And there we go. You are now good to go for your bands. Now, the Galaxy Watch, you know, when you first open it up, it's going to be giving you this type of layout. It's gonna give you your home screen. If you swipe down from the top, from the top to the bottom, you will get into your quick toggles. So you can quickly jump around into different type of toggles that you have. You'll see your battery percent up here. You'll have these quick type of toggles that you can kind of customize with. You have your power button, battery, sound. You can swipe in between these pages to see all these other toggles as well. So as you get to use your Galaxy Watch, you'll start to see these toggles a lot more and probably start customizing them more. And you also have that plus button back there that you can also customize your particular you know, watch face and your toggles here too. You can swipe back up to get into your home screen. If you swipe up from the bottom, you will get into your application drawer. So you will see all the applications you have inside of your Samsung Galaxy Watch. So you can go through and you can open up a particular watch app if you want to. There's a lot of different watch apps available all over the place. 
So that right there is going to be another really cool thing that you can kind of do there. If you swipe to the side, this is where you're going to get into more different types of toggles that you have all throughout health related, fitness related. There's a lot of things all across the board here that are just these new tiles that you have. So this is a really cool part of owning a Samsung phone is that you have these different types of toggles and tiles that you can kind of maneuver around. So that is something that's actually really cool and I'm actually a really big fan of that. If you swipe to the left side, you will get into more of these types of you know, notifications. So you'll start to see all the notifications you have throughout your device and you can go through and you can clear out of them and you can also kind of just maneuver around your particular watch that way. On top of that, if you hold down on your watch, you can now customize your watch face. So if you want to, let's say I don't really like this watch face, I want to change it. I can hold it down like this and I can go ahead and kind of swipe to the side and I can go ahead and add a new watch face by clicking this plus button. So now I can swipe through, I can find a watch face that I like, and there's a lot of different ones you can kind of choose from. So you can go through and find the one that you particularly like, and you can go ahead and add it in that way. Now you can always swipe back to kind of come back into your home screen and it will just take you back home. Now these buttons on the side, like I said before, they gave you some things. If you hold down one of the buttons, it will basically give you this type of layout for you know, your Samsung account and you can add your watch you know, for Gemini. So you, the top button you can activate for Gemini, which is really cool. The bottom button, if you hold it down, should open up Samsung Wallet. So if you wanna quickly get into Samsung Wallet, you can click this button, or if you click it one time, it'll take you back. So if you're somewhere and you wanna go back, you can just click this button here and it will take you back. It's almost like a home button. Now, if you hold down both of these buttons at the same time, it will bring you into your power menu. So right here, it will bring you into like some sort of power menu option that you have. So now what you can do is you can go through and click onto that power menu icon or that power you know, screen right there, and it will go ahead and power off your particular device. And that's another thing you can do there too. You can tap on there, you can power off your particular watch that way. And that is kind of another nice thing you can kind of do there as well. Now, I wanna go ahead and show you the Galaxy wearable application, because there's a few things to kind of keep in mind here as well. So within the Galaxy Wear application, you have the capability of seeing your battery percentage right up here. You can also go through and customize a lot of things within your Galaxy Watch 8. So you can go through, you can modify your watch settings. You have Find My Watch, Tips and Tricks Guide or whatever, and a store at the bottom. You also have these things here too. You can modify your watch faces. So you can tap on watch faces and you can change out all your different watch faces that you have on your Galaxy Watch from your phone, which is actually really cool. So you can kind of go through here and kind of find the one that works best for you. That's another really cool thing that you can kind of do there. You also have this app screen. So you can tap right here and you can customize how your app screen is kind of showcased. So you can really kind of do whatever you want to and you can even move these app icons around like that, which is actually really, really cool. So that's another awesome thing that you can kind of mess around with here and maneuver around with too. And you have this tiles option right here. So you can kind of modify your tiles that you have on the side of your Galaxy Watch. So that right there is another really awesome thing and you can kind of customize that further. So there's a lot of really cool stuff here. It's just a bunch of customizing you can do from to your Galaxy Watch from your phone, which is genuinely a really cool thing. So what I can definitely tell you is the Galaxy Watch 8, it's a very cool watch. I would highly recommend you to go and, you know, if you want the best type of watch you can buy from an Android, this is definitely one of them. This is a very good option. I think it looks beautiful. And I think you did a really good, you know, I think you did a really good thing by buying this type of watch because it's going to be supported for quite some time. But like I said, if you're a little like, you know, if you kind of don't take care of your devices too well sometimes, I would recommend putting some sort of screen protector on it that will probably end up helping you in the long run. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.